Camera number 38 of 365 is the Mamiya Secor 500 DTL. DTL stands for Dual Through the Lens uh, Metering. And it refers to the camera's ability to select via a switch on the side here from average meter reading or spot metering. And when you look through the viewfinder, there is the match needle with a backward C and the idea is that we match the needle using our aperture and our shutter speeds and we can select uh, by turning it to S spot in the viewfinder there's a small square at the bottom and in the middle and that's the area that you put your subject over and take your spot metering otherwise if we turn it to average metering, that's exactly what it does. It takes an average meter reading of the uh, scene. The camera features a M42 screw mount. And I don't know whether you can see it, but there is actually a little area on the mirror which uh, measures that spot uh, area. Aside from the little button there, there's the couple of ports to choose our flash and uh, that's about it really in terms of uh, what's on the front so let's just put there we go looking to the bottom uh, because it uh, um, has the metering there it requires a battery so let's just undo the uh, battery cover door so the battery that powers the meter is uh, an LR44 and you probably can just about make out there's a negative a symbol on the base of the uh, camera there so we put that in there and then we screw the door on nice little attention to detail here not just a slap a piece of metal on the base but actually it's been uh, a little bit of care and uh, attention paid to the door of the uh, battery chamber Oops. if you can get it on And then aside from the battery compartment, there's the film uh, rewind uh, lever there. Or not so much lever, but just a button that uh, allows us to rewind our film. So turning to the uh, front of the camera, we have uh, on the left-hand side the film rewind crank. And then we have a separate release for the film chamber on the side of the camera, which is uh, slid up. And it reveals our camera chamber. The shutter is a cloth shutter. And then turning to the other side, we have our shutter speed dial, which also doubles up. Uh, by lifting the collar, we can select our film speed. And then uh, our shutter release button. And then, uh, interestingly, the meter is uh, actuated. I don't know if you saw that, but there's actually a a position on the uh, shutter advance just there and then uh, that act activates the meter and that wind. Notice it stands proud it won't go in until we press the center of the dial like that. So again nice little feature there open to activate the meter, actuate our camera, wind on and then if we decide not to take a photo put our camera back in the bag and make sure that it's nice and safe. So let's uh, put a film through the camera now. So to put the film through the camera we lift up the door and then thread the film speed on something slightly faster and uh, let's just uh, listen to the shutter
And then when to, uh, to rewind the film, as I mentioned, we press the release and wind our film back into the canister. Interesting, I've not noticed this on any other camera, there's actually a little click noise that presumably is uh, telling us that our film is rewinding. There we go, back into the canister. And indeed, the film is back in the canister. So, there we go. Camera number 38 of 365, the Mamiya Secor 500 DTL.